Hello everyone, how's it going? Nanai here, welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel and today guys we are back in league action once more in our final home game until December. It's Derby County taking on Joey Barton, Bristol Rovers. Now guys, if you're going to enjoy this video, then do me a massive favour. If you haven't already, hit like, subscribe, and once you've done that, hit the bell icon next to that so you don't miss when I upload a brand new video on this channel. It's as simple and easy as that. Let's try and hit the subscribe mark of 500 before the end of the season. Let's keep this channel building. Let's keep this channel growing. We've done so well so far in the past three years. So please, 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 if you haven't already, then please hit that subscribe button now. Bristol Rovers are today's visitors and they are bringing 3,000 fans to Pride Park in what is going to be a very good atmosphere. Always is when teams sell out in the away end and I'm looking forward to this game. In terms of football though, it's not really the best time to be playing Bristol Rovers. Obviously Derby have been picking up injuries left, right and centre. We've got Jason Knight out, we've got Barkhausen out, Davis out. You know, we're starting to pick up the injuries here and there and with a very threadbare squad, it's not really what we need going into uh, into November and December, especially December because we've got quite a few fixtures to uh, be getting out of the way. We've got pretty much got two games every week apart from the Christmas period, I believe, in which we've only got one uh, on the Saturday and the Boxing Day, I think. Um, I could be wrong. Um, we also need to be watching out for um, Bristol Rovers wide play. I know that uh, they've been playing 4-3-3 uh, they did against Sheffield Wednesday and Wednesday night and they got a really good uh, solid 1-1 draw away at Hillsborough they did play well and a lot of she Sheffield Wednesday fans were saying that Bristol Rovers should have won that game so I'm not really looking forward to the game per se because considering our home form and how Bristol Rovers have gone 6 unbeaten, it's probably not the best time to be playing them I think optimistically uh, a draw would probably be our best bet in terms of what we can get unless the players really put a shift in Against Exeter, we did lack that that cutting edge, that fine. We really were lacking in the th final third. We did a good solid defensive display against both Ipswich and Exeter. So, yeah, I'm going to say a 2 1 Derby win, and I'm going to say the goal scorer to be Nathaniel Mendes Lang and James Collins. And, well, with that being said, guys, let's head to Pride Park for today's tasty encounter. Coverage and commentary to come on the Rams versus the Gas.
Oliver Goldrick with his second goal, and we are in a commanding position in this game. Switched on, boys, switched on. Still going back. Can't oh, throw this away. Two to Derby and it's, uh, it's some stroke of half time. They're still digging in. Try to give us some They are digging in. They're not giving up. They're still fighting. So, yeah. Half time here at Pride Park. Have a breath if you can. Six goals in the first half. Derby County for Bristol Rovers. Two emphatic first half from the Rams. Only the two goals conceded um, in the first half. It's just been an emphatic first half from David McGoldrick. He gets his hat trick in the first 45 minutes. James Collins adding to that tally. Bristol Rovers are flying through a header from a free kick and from the penalty spot of the Cashiers who have judged to have fouled Josh Coburn. But we have had a really good half. Apart from the penalty decision, we've not really looked like conceding, especially. Um, Especially about, you know, we've been holding our ground really well, defending really well, cutting out their chances, calm on the ball, and that is what we've needed. But I really expect Bristol Rovers to come out in the second half and put a fight in. I know this game isn't over by a long shot. I said this at half time against Plymouth, look what happened there. I said this at half time against Port Vale, look what happened there. These games aren't over till the 45 minutes are. I, I, I wouldn't put it against Bristol Rovers to put in a comeback, but hopefully I'm wrong, but hopefully we can keep our ground over. Hopefully we can hold our nerve and not bottle it again because the fans really need the three points. This club, the team need three points. And we deserve it. We deserve the three points in this game. Second half to come. Let's hope we can hold on.
Down here at Pride Park in what was an entertaining game of football, a six goal thriller. It's Derby County beat Bristol Rovers by four goals to two, courtesy of David McGoldrick Hatchery and James Collins. And I think that was the cry for a win that we needed today. Bristol Rovers were very poor defensively, they just got undone by our passing play, our hold up play, and we just cut them apart today and they just couldn't handle our attacking pressure. It was a shame to concede two goals the way that we did, both from uh, dead balls. Um, I think that's something that we need to work on. We need to work on our dead ball set piece, especially um, our set piece defending because the penalty that we gave away, I mean, to me it looked quite soft, but others could say it was obstruction, so it was a penalty. I'm not 100% entirely sure. I do think it's a bit of a soft penalty to uh, the ref to have given, but. On the other hand, like I said, I've not watched it back, so it could have also just been a very soft penalty to give away from Cashin. But you can't fault Cashin, though, because he's been a fantastic defender for us this season. He's really solidified our back line. He's really bolstered that leaky defence that we had last season. And the lad is the lad's going to go places if he continues playing like he does. I'm, just, I'm actually glad that, he's, like, that he decided to stop with us at Pride Park instead of moving on. Many could have easily... Um, left at the end of his contract but that just shows his loyalty and commitment to the club and 
you have got to give the lad a lot of respect for that. And he's a fantastic defender, both in Championship and League One. So, yeah, massive props to Cash. He's really taken his opportunity uh, when Davis was out last season. He's really taken his opportunity with both hands and he's doing so well. That's it for today's vlog, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed. As always, if you haven't already, then please make sure to hit like and subscribe. You'll be doing me a favour. Next game, guys, we are hitting the road once again. Next time is Morecambe away at the Globe Arena on Tuesday night. I've been Niall. You guys have been brilliant. Have a cracking Halloween. I'll see you guys then. Niall signing out. Peace.